Uh, yes, welcome to New Life Scientific and the Tech Shop. Today we're going to talk about accessories uh, for the Varian line of spectrophotometers. Uh, so the 100 and 300 line, uh, Agilent has the line now and these accessories do work with, the, uh, with their branded as well. Um, uh, the first uh, we're going to talk about is a what's called a one by one Peltier uh, cooled system. Um, the unit has is a dual path system, two cuvées uh, with water circulation to cool to the temperature that you desire. Um, the water on this type of unit doesn't come from the temperature controller as they do in the the 6x6 and 8x8 transports, but by some type of water hose. One of the options they, they, they offer is with just a submersible pump. It doesn't take much water flow uh, to cool them. This was an optional pump, um, and your other option was to put it just to a water tap. Uh, a small flow will be more than enough to get your temperature down. Um, this unit's um, in cooling is, is, is actually running, um, and when you do have the unit, you go into the accessories, the setup, the accessories, you set your temperature, the one by one Peltier, click OK. It'll show your temperature and uh, what it's waiting for and the degrees that, that it's running. That will wait to run your scan until it gets to the correct temperature um, onto it. When you do set the, the, the settings in the software, it does send out to the controller as well. You can also set the controller manually with this device. Okay, That leads to one of our other accessories. Uh, this, is, by the way, was hooked up to a, a, a Carry 300. Um, you can hook these also up to Bio 100 as long as they have the accessory option in the units. We've covered that in some of our other videos if you're not sure what we're talking about, um, which basically is another board underneath the chamber. Anyway, back to one of our other options um, is a routine sampler, as Kerry calls it. Industry seems to want to call them a sipper. Um, they're designed to pick up um, uh, a sample and flow it into the cuvee at regular intervals. Um, it does it strictly um, by the use of a peristaltic pump. Um, can be used in production where you're just constantly wanting to pull samples and get your readings. Um, it can be manually run from the front or again from the software. It does require a uh, controller with it, a standard controller um, that would also be used with the 6x6 transports that you're probably familiar with. Um, software is controlled much the same way. Um, you go into the setup, accessory two in this case, that's your sipper models. This is an internal routine sampler. Sipper is on. Uh, you can set your delay and the like. Click OK. Now when you run your sample, we can tell it to finish, fill and read. And your pump goes ahead and starts pumping into your unit when it get when it when your conditions you've met in the software um, uh, have reached, it will shut it off and perhaps rinse the unit, the uh, uh, the, the sampler chamber uh, at your dryer and, and go on to the next one, depending on how you program it. Third option that uh, we see, and I've never seen anything written up onto them, is a, a sampler rack, but for solids. Uh, could be used for uh, determining color of glassware. It would be mounted uh, either in the units there on similar panels. They could be used for cuvee. There's a number of different uses for this. It's, they're very easy to install. There's just a couple bolts that you pull out your other uh, type of, ex your rack 
whether it be the one by one Peltier, the six by six transport, the sipper, or just the, uh, the dual channel. And these will mount right in the same holes. It takes, oh, three minutes uh, perhaps to uh, change any of these accessories out in your unit. That click was you heard was uh, the unit changing over to the UV um, uh, uh, LAM. And as you can see, it's running sampling and then it'll, uh, it, it'll finish up and it'll do uh, the rest of the program. So that's the, uh, some accessories that you may help you in getting your, your tasks done in your lab. Check them out. Thank you very much.